Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the Midday News. The headlines Gujarat court sentences Congress leader Rahul Gandhi to 2 years in jail in 2019 criminal defamation case stalemate continues in parliament for the 8th consecutive day over Rahul Gandhi's remarks on Indian democracy and other issues Rajya Sabha chairman Jagdeep Dhankar holds meeting with floor leaders of opposition parties to break log jam and ensure orderly functioning of upper house Center says COVID-19 is far from over our states to take measures for management of the pandemic India wins bronze medal in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team event at the ISSF World Cup shooting championship in Bhopal and PV Sindhu Kidambi Srikanth and Ajay Pranoy to play the second round matches at the Swiss Open badminton tournament in Basel today A Surat court in Gujarat today convicted Congress leader Rahul Gandhi in connection with the 2019 criminal defamation case filed against him over his Modi surname remarks. The court also announced a two-year jail term as quantum of punishment to him. However, Chief Judicial Magistrate A. J. S. Verma granted bail to Mr. Gandhi and suspended the sentence for 30 days to allow him to appeal in a higher court. The Congress leader was present in the court when the verdict was pronounced. BJP MLA Purnesh Modi has filed the case against the Congress leader for his alleged remarks. Rahul Gandhi had made the remarks while addressing a rally at Kolar in Karnataka ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. As a result of the judgment, the Congress leader might lose his membership as an MP and Wayanad parliamentary constituency may witness a bypoll. Reacting to the court judgment, Union Minister Kiran Rizju said, "Whenever Rahul Gandhi says something, he invites embarrassment to the nation and his party." राहुल गांधी जो भी बोलते हैं वो आजकल ऐसा हो गया कि उससे सिर्फ नुकसान ही होता है उनका पार्टी के लिए नुकसान होता ही होता है लेकिन देश के लिए अच्छा नहीं है कांग्रेस के कुछ एम और कांग्रेस के कुछ नेता मुझे बताया कि राहुल गांधी का जो रवैया है उसके वजह से सब खराब हो गया उनके पार्टी भी डूब रहा है और साथ साथ बाकी को भी नुकसान होता है The BJP has termed the remarks of Congress leader Rahul Gandhi about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's surname as defamatory. Addressing media in New Delhi, senior BJP leader Ravi Shankar Prasad uh, said the BJP respects criticism, but Rahul Gandhi does not respect it. He alleged it has now become the habit of Mr. Gandhi to insult the country's armed forces, the Prime Minister, and the BJP. Stalemate in Parliament continued for the eighth consecutive day today over Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's remarks on Indian democracy and Adani Group issue. Amid continuous disruption, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha were adjourned till 2 p.m. In the Lok Sabha, when the House met this morning, opposition members started sloganeering over the Adani Group issue. Members from Congress, DMK, and other parties trooped into the well. Some Congress MPs were demanding to allow Mr. Gandhi to speak. Treasury bench members also started sloganeering, demanding apology from Rahul Gandhi. Speaker Om Birla said he has not stopped anyone from speaking in the House. He said the country wants the Lok Sabha to function, and discussion must take place on the issues related to public importance. As Rakas Prevail, Mr. Birla adjourned the house till 2 p.m. मैंने किसी भी मान्य सदस्य को बोलने से नहीं रोका देश चाहता है सदन चले उनके मुद्दों पे चर्चा हो उनकी कठिनाइयों पे चर्चा हो मेरी कोशिश रहती है कि सदन चले आप अगर सदन नहीं चलाना चाहते हैं सदन में नारेबाजी करना चाहते हैं तो सदन की कार्रवाई आज दो बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है In the Rajya Sabha when the House assembled for the day Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar disallowed the adjournment notices moved by opposition members on Adani group issues Mr Dhankar said he had three meetings with the floor leaders of different political parties over the smooth functioning of the house urging the leaders to talk with themselves to find a way out I can assure you I go through each of the notices very carefully apart from the compliance part of it and it is after deep deliberation that i indicate that these issues could have been raised earlier i have held three meetings with floor leaders three involved meetings the two sides in the house have taken rigid stand i appeal to the entire house they must interact among themselves and find a way out we are not sending a good message 
Leader of the House Piyush Goel said despite the chairman's efforts there is no reconciliation with the principal opposition party. He alleged that the nation is extremely concerned over the behavior of his senior leader for his comments. Leader of the opposition Malikarjun Kharge reiterated opposition demand for JPC probe into Adani group issue. As pandemonium continued the house was adjourned till 2 p.m. Earlier the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha paid homage to freedom fighters Sardar Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev on the martyrdom day. The Lok Sabha also made obituary references to three former members who passed away recently. Early in the day, Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar held a meeting with floor leaders of different political parties to break the log jam and ensure orderly functioning of the upper house. Leader of the House Piyush Goel, Parliament Affairs Mr. Pehlad Joshi, Congress Leader Jairam Ramesh, Professor Ram Gopal Yadav from the Samajwadi Party, Elamaram Karim of the CPIM, Tiruchi Shiva of the DMK, Sanjay Singh of the Aam Aadmi Party, Sasmit Patra of the BJD and others participated in the meeting. After the meeting, Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar said he had three meetings with floor leaders of different political parties over the smooth functioning of the House. He urged the leaders to talk with themselves to find a way out. Parliament is witnessing continuous disruptions since the start of the second part of the budget session. While the BJP is demanding an apology from the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for his remarks on Indian democracy, the opposition parties are insisting on a joint parliamentary committee probe into the Adani group matter. Members of opposition parties from both the houses staged a protest in Parliament House complex today. They were demanding a joint parliamentary committee probe into the Adani group matter. Congress President Malikarjun Kharge, Sanjay Singh of the Aam Aadmi Party, T.R. Balu of the DMK, Vinoy Vishwam of the CPI, K. Keshava Rao of BRS, MPs of JDU, Samajwadi Party and others participated in the protest. News just in, Dada Subha has been adjourned for the day. BJP President J.P. Nadda has appointed new party state chiefs in Rajasthan, Odisha, Delhi and Bihar. C.P. Joshi has been appointed as state president of Rajasthan, Manmohan Samal as Odisha's BJP unit state president, while Delhi BJP working president Virendra Sachdeva has been appointed as state unit chief. Samrat Chaudhary, who is currently the leader of opposition in the Bihar Legislative Council, have been made the new president of Bihar state unit. He replaced Sanjay Jaiswal. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Northeast Diary program broadcast every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Brings very interesting and enchanting stories from the eight Indian states of Northeast India. Northeast Diary this week on the 23rd of March, 2023, brings an exclusive interview with Mr. Anjan Banik, a recipient of the National Award for Science and Technology Communications for the year 2022. Looking forward to seeing you there. Union Health Ministry has cautioned the people that the threat of COVID-19 pandemic is not over. Addressing Media New Delhi about the COVID-19 situation in the country, Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan said, In India, most of the cases have been reported from eight states, with Maharashtra registering the highest 1,650 COVID cases, followed by Gujarat, Kerala and Karnataka. He said a detailed advisory has been issued to the states regarding required measures to be taken up for the management of COVID-19. They have been asked to ensure availability of sufficient designated beds, health workers and required drugs and logistics for COVID and influenza. राज्य जहां की नंबर बढ़ रहे थे उनको हमने विशेष दिशा निर्देश भारत सरकार ने दिए थे कि उन्हें क्या कार्य करने चाहिए जिसमें हमने कहा था कि पांच जो कार्य हैं वो उन्हें करने चाहिए वो टेस्टिंग की संख्या को बढ़ाएं और जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग की संख्या को बढ़ाएं tracking of positive cases because positive cases are spread of the virus. As soon as the disease is growing, in some geographies or in some countries, it is made of this kind of thing that now we don't have any precautions to take any precautions. So this is wrong. Especially those who are young and who are comorbid, they should not go to such people in such places. They should not go to such places. The health secretary has informed that an average of 94,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported globally on a daily basis, but in India only 966 cases have been reported, 
which accounts for only 1% of total cases globally. Mr. Bhushan informed that currently the circulating variants of COVID-19 in the country are the variants of Omicron. However, he said there's no evidence of increase in hospitalization and mortality has been reported in the country. Union Home Minister Amit Shah to the inaugurated the Vedic Heritage Portal in New Delhi. The portal aims to communicate message enshrined in the Vedas. It will help common people to have a general understanding about the Vedas. The portal will be a one-stop solution for the user who would like to search any information regarding the Vedic heritage. Speaking on the occasion, Union Culture Minister G. Kishan Reddy said, the audiovisual recording of four Vedas have been uploaded on the Vedic heritage portal. हमारे चार वेदों ऋग्वेदा यजुर्वेदा सामवेदा अधर्वेदा का ऑडियो विजुअल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन का रिकॉर्डिंग करके इस पोर्टल के द्वारा सारी दुनिया के सामने रखा है अभी तक इस पोर्टल में 18000 से अधिक मंत्रों के साथ 550 घंटों के ऑडियो विजुअल डॉक्यूमेंट का रिकॉर्डिंग करके सभी दुनिया को उपलब्ध करने का कष्ट किया है Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has sought the center's intervention in ensuring a harmonious coexistence of humans and elephants in Odisha. In separate letters to the Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik and the Union Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Bhupendra Yadav today, Mr. Pradhan said that during the past decade, Odisha has witnessed the loss of as many as 784 elephants. More from a correspondent. Mr Pradhan has further mentioned in the letter the importance of elephant conservation that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself has often underlined in his radio program Man Ki Baat stating that elephant conservation is of paramount importance to Odisha as these majestic animals are an integral part of the ecological balance cultural heritage and the state's identity the minister has said that the well-being of these creatures is also essential for maintaining the health of the forest and the livelihood of the local communities who depend on the forest Describing the situation arising out of the increasing death of elephants and wild animals in Odisha as critical, the Minister Mr. Pradhan has sought the Union Environment Minister's prompt intervention in the matter. Yudhish Chandra Das, AIR News, Bhubaneswar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit his parliamentary constituency of Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh tomorrow. Apart from addressing the One World TV Summit, the Prime Minister will also dedicate and lay the foundation stone of various projects worth more than 1,780 crore rupees. Prime Minister paid tributes to the great freedom fighters Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Rajguru on the occasion of Shahid Divas today. In a tweet, Mr. Narendra Modi said that India will always remember this sacrifice. The Prime Minister also remembered Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia on his birth anniversary today. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said his government is working hard to fulfill his vision for a strong India. Union Home Minister Amit Shah also bowed to the great freedom fighters Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Rajguru and paid tributes to freedom fighter Ram Manohar Lohia. Key benchmark indices erased gains to trade flat in afternoon trade amid volatility. The Sensex was down 26 points to trade at 58,240. The Nifty was down 8 points to trade at 17,157 a short while ago. In shooting Indian pair of Narmada Nitin Raju and Rudrangsh Balasaheb Patil won bronze medal in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team event of the ISSF World Cup Championships in Bhopal today. The Indian duo defeated China by 16-8 in the bronze medal match. In badminton, ace Indian shuttlers PV Sindhu, Kidambi Srikanth and Ajas Pranoy will play the second round matches at the Swiss Open tournament in Basel today. In the men's singles, Srikanth will be up against Hong Kong's Lee Chiuk Yui in the second round this evening. Pranoy will meet French player Christophe Popov. In the women's singles, two-time Olympic medalist Sindhu will next face Indonesia's Putri Kusuma Vardhani tonight. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Gujarat court sentences Congress leader Rahul Gandhi to two years in jail in 2019 criminal defamation case. Stalemate continues in Parliament for the eighth consecutive day over Rahul Gandhi's remarks on Indian democracy and other issues. Radha Sabha adjourned for the day, while Lok Sabha adjourned till 6 p.m. today. Centre says COVID-19 is far from over. Our states to take measures for management of the pandemic. India wins bronze medal in the 10 meter air rifle mixed team event at the ISSF World Cup Shooting Championships in Bhopal and with that we end the midday news